All right, people, here is the deck profile for Volcanic. So pretty much with the hit of Van Exemptionist and the deck just getting to be kind of bland. And, you know, if I want to play a deck with, that runs a lot of background, I'd rather just go ahead and play Burning Abyss. Uh, Volcanics are just being taken off and replaced with a different deck. I must give you a hint. I must give you a hint. It is another fire deck, so be prepared for it. You'll be getting it later today. So uh, for now, let's go ahead and do the the deck profile for the Volcanics, and uh, say farewell to this deck on Daily Duels. So starting off, we got, of course, Triple Volcanic Rocket. Volcanic Rocket used to be, you know, a fine card in Volcanics, but, you know, Volcanics went crap until they got a little bit of this in their life. So we'll go over that card when we get there, but Volcanic Rocket allows you to search for that card for reload. So, and it's a nice, nice... Oh my god, it's a nice 19 beater. Hello, I can't even speak today. So uh, there you go, Rocket. Uh, triple scatter shot. Uh, scatter shot. You know, you send to a graveyard for 1200, and then if it's sent to a graveyard by, you know, Blaze Blaze Accelerator. Of course, this card counts as Blaze Accelerator. You get to go ahead and send two more from your hand or deck to the graveyard, and then bam, destroy all monsters your opponent controls, and then take the additional 1000. Uh, and it's nice to go ahead and wipe your opponent's field by, you know, during your turn by using its effect and draw a card, or when it's a graveyard, banishing it, and then go ahead and using it during your opponent's turn to catch them off guard. It's kind of like a like a torrential tribute, except just your opponent's monsters. So it's probably one of the key reasons why this deck did as well as it did, because this plus this. Next, we got Volcanic Shell. It's more of an engine, pretty much. Uh, pay 500, you get a Volcanic Shell, so, you know, you just keep on, you know, accurate and reload. Discarding it, drawing a card, pay 500 to get one, discard it, draw a card, you know. And it also helps you fill up your graveyard with pyrotype monsters for you to go ahead and use this guy. Royal Firestorm Guards. Uh, when he gets off his effect, he's so good. Uh, pretty much there's no summon. I target four power monsters in the graveyard, shuffle them back into deck, draw two cards. So straight up, just bam, pot of greed. And it's kind of like a pot of in that sense, you know. So your pyro, your pyro, your pyro. Uh, your Pyro, so I can, he can shuffle himself, because it doesn't say, you know, not include himself, which is good. And then, also, your Pyro. So, lots of Pyro in here, so, there you go. Hopefully you get this guy, hopefully you get the effect off, and plus, Fire Nice Hand. Fire Hand, really, I was running him because he was Pyro, but then I was also like, you know what, Fire Nice Hand do pretty kind of well in this deck, you know. I don't really special summon, mostly normal summon, so, you know, Fire Nice Hand, lock it down. So, you got to do Fire Nice Hand, on, plus all the back row, so... There you go. I, I was actually running it at like 3 and then 2, but I was like, ah, fuck it, you know, ice hand, let's go. You know, I generally draw them, but, you know, even when they're destroyed, they still get to go ahead and pop a monster or, or spell a trap. It just kind of sucks when I don't get to summon each other from the great, from, I mean, from the deck because I keep drawing them. But still, um, you know, Fire and Ice Hand are a fine addition to the deck. I would rather run them than even, you know, the other volcanic shit, you know. So people running, like, Counter and Doom Fire, I'm like, ah, Fire and Ice Hand, I, th I prefer Fire and hand, Ice Hand. You know, they, they get the job done just as well, and I can go ahead and put my fire hands back with uh, Royal Firestorm Guards, and then BAM! Alright, so, that is the monsters. 18 monsters. I think 18 is a fine number for monsters. Alright, on to the spells, even though there's not a lot of them. You got Triple Pot. Like I said, this deck is slow. I do not special summon a lot, so being able to go ahead and uh, pot, see the next three cards. Hey, it might be something that I need, so let's go ahead and grab it now. Like I said, not really special summoning, so pot's a fine card. Uh, foolish, foolish is pretty much to go ahead and send a uh, volcanic shell to get the play started. You know, just foolish. All right, volcanic shell. Now I can start. You know, either you know keep on getting volcanic shells or get a uh, reload set up. So yeah, uh, magical planter. I only ran two, three was cloggy, but uh, pretty much there's sometimes there's some continuous trap cards like Phoenix Chain, and uh, sometimes I want to go ahead and send Blaze Accelerator to the graveyard so I can go ahead and use it with Scatter Shot during my opponent's turn. So why don't I go ahead and just plus off of it? Not really plus, more like even, but yeah, why not go ahead and send it to the graveyard and draw two cards, especially you know if, if there's like a Phoenix Chain. And then my opponent's monster is kind of stuck on the field. Let's go ahead and just magical planter it. Vanny's like this. I know it's that one, but you know, still play it. Staple. Uh, then Blaze Accelerator Reload. It's, you know, it counts pretty much as, uh, of course, Blaze Accelerator. And uh, it's much better. Much better. So I can go ahead and uh, send a volcanic to draw a card. It's definitely a good card that uh, volcanics need because, you know, every time they use, like, regular Blaze Accelerator, they're kind of, like, neg and stuff. So, this, you get to go ahead and send and draw. And, of course, during your player's main phase, you can bench this card from guard to send a volcanic monster from your deck to the graveyard. So, you get to go ahead and scatter shot your opponent during their turn. Great play. 
Solemn Warring Staple, Bottomless Staple. Uh, Ring of Destruction is pretty much a staple. I don't know why I'm using this card art. I should be using the other one because this is the OCG version. Uh, they were like, nah, I'd rather have fire than straight up grenades on it. <laughs> uh, we don't want you to think that's some terrorist card. But uh, yeah, um, definitely these. Uh, Capulse is kind of going down while Ring of Destruction is going up. So there you go. Uh, Divine Wrath. Uh, I needed a, a you know, a di kind of like a discard engine for when I don't get, like, Buzzy card. I was like, hey, you know, let's go ahead and go with Divine Wrath. Huh? Out of all of them, out of Phoenix Woman Blast, Karma Cut, you know, I, I'd say I like Divine Wrath the best right now. It's a counter trap, you know, not a lot of people are playing wiretap, so, it's, you know, it's kind of hard to stop. And, uh, it negates monster effects, period. So, hand, deck, graveyard, doesn't matter. Divine Wrath, go ahead, pitch and negate it. So, even that Bionic Search, you know? Like, what, what, what is a Karma Cut or, you know, Things from Moon Blast gonna do against, you know, a Bionic Search, you know? So, but I, like I said, out of all of them, I think Divine Wrath is my favorite. And then, of course, everybody and their mother, everybody today is in their force. Uh, I didn't actually put in the Mind Crushes. Still testing out the Mind Crushes, seeing how... I feel about that card in general, but it seems like, you know, if you're going to run competitive, you got to run Triple Minecraft. I mean, it's a given, so. Yep. And, yeah. And then extra deck, tool, I don't know, toolbox. I just threw shit in here. I was like, alright, level change, sure, I'm not sure. Extan, sure, Castell, don't care, 101. Ect Rebellion, Cowboy, uh, Heartland, Epsidy, Dweller, Bro, I see, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I just literally threw shit in here. Like, this is a toolbox. I, I Like I said, I don't special summon that much, so extra, extra deck's not that important, but hey, it's nice to have the toolbox there. And there you go. That's pretty much Volcanics, in a nutshell, for the deck that was being played on Daily Duels. So, tell me what you guys think about Volcanics and uh, any, any adjustments. If you guys want to go ahead and try the deck out yourself, then uh, more power to you. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile for Volcanics, and I will see you guys in uh, today's episode of Daily Duels with the new deck that will be replacing Volcanics for Fridays. Alright people, thanks for watching.